everybody, so if you are a Sephora VIB or Beauty Insider, you probably know that Sephora recently had their VIB 15% off sale and I totally, totally hit that up. So I got plenty of stuff from Sephora recently and I was super excited to show you guys what I got because let's just say I went pretty crazy with my Sephora purchases. So one of the things that comes with my, came with my Sephora thing was like this, I ordered online and it was a bunch of like perfume like little samples in here and it's saying that you get three times the points from the April 24th to May 10th on fragrance purchases so if you're buying a fragrance you get three times the points fun fact okay so I have a lot of stuff I spend a lot of money but it was a VIB sale and I was like, I'm doing my final hurrah, my last makeup buy for a really, really long time, even though I'll probably end up buying something on my birthday. Like, I think I'm going to wait until like October to buy makeup again unless something really cool comes out, like that I just have to have. Or if I run out of like my foundation and like the basics, you know. But, okay, I'm going to start actually with my 500 point perk that I got. And this is like what the box looked like. I took everything out of the packaging just so it was easier to show you. So yeah, this was the 500 point perk and it came with um, three of these um, all over, well two all over face colors and one eye brightener. So um, here's like a dark one and I'm not going to try to like open it up because these are powder, it's bare minerals um, and it's warmth and obviously I have a really light skin tone so I think I might use this as like some kind of bronzing or contouring powder. I'm not sure how well that'll work yet but I'm going to try it. And then this is the Well Rested Eye Brightener. So it's an under eye brightener, which I'm excited to try that out. And this is the All Over Face Color in Clear Radiance. So I'm not sure what color that is or if it's just like translucent kind of. I don't know. Um, I think this color would work for me though. Oh cool, on the back it actually tells you how to use it. That's awesome. I'm going to keep this card so I can look at that because I've never actually used Bare, Mineral Bare Minerals products before. Um, and then I got the Marvelous Moxie um, lip gloss and um, these, I don't know if these are plumping or not, I actually put it on like literally right before I started this video um, because it was really pretty and it's a really nice pink color and I really need to do my nails so don't really look at that. And then it comes with this little um, angled brush and I think this brush would be really good for like the um, under eye powder stuff. Speaking of brightening powder, okay, I recently, I think it was, I want to say it was Tori Sterling, um, but somebody, I feel like it was her, uses the um, Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder, and um, this is what it looks like in the bottle. Again, this is a loose powder. It's got like a, a thing over it right now, so you can't see it, but it's just a like translucent kind of brightening powder, I think. Basically, um, it just brightens up the under eye area, and that's what she always uses to set her concealer in, and I totally wanted to try that out because I love when your under eye looks nice and bright and concealed, and hers always looks good, so if you guys have never watched Tori Sterling, I literally, um, I met her when I first started YouTube, and we stopped talking a really long time ago, and I haven't talked to her since she got popular on YouTube, but um, we met because our names were Tori, so I, I like her because she's got my name, so come on now. Um, the next thing I got was the NARS Creamy Concealer, and I got the color vanilla, and I haven't even checked to see if this color is going to match my skin, but I tried to get one that looked like it would be like lighter than my skin tone because I like to use, I really don't need concealer in other areas other than my under eyes. So I tried to get one that I thought would match my skin and be slightly bright. So um, this was in the color vanilla and it's light too. Um, but I always see people talking about the NARS creamy concealer. So I was like, why not? The rest of the stuff I got were palettes or eye stuff. And I am a major eyeshadow junkie when it comes to like foundation and like my foundation concealer routine. I usually try to stay pretty you know, centralized and not go too far outside of what I basically do. So, um, I really don't have that many, like that much of a selection for face powders and stuff, but for eyeshadows, I literally don't even have room for my eyeshadows anymore. I need to switch up my makeup storage, but I bought 
five different eyeshadow slash face palettes. So I'm going to start off with this NARS Duo, and I never had one of these NARS Duos or NARS eyeshadow before. And this is in Tazarn, I don't know, it's how to pronounce it. it, I'll put it right here, or if I forget I'll link it in the um, down bar. But it's got two colors that are really pretty, and I think that they are going to work so well together for a basic kind of smoky look. Uh, I've got this nice like champagne color here. Um, I'm going to swatch it on my hand and see if you can see it. Yeah, you really can't see it that well on here. Um, and then also this really pretty like silver gray color. So yeah, I'm really excited about these. Um, I've always seen people, see now my NARS packaging is going to get destroyed. You know how like NARS always has such pretty packaging when you get it and then you use it and it gets dirty and doesn't look pretty anymore yeah so this isn't gonna look pretty for long but I was so excited and I just always see people talking about NARS eyeshadows but I've never tried some myself and NARS eyeshadow is pretty expensive like I think does this have the prices on it or is this just a checklist no it's just your checklist dang it I have no idea how much it cost but I just knew it was more expensive so since it was 15% off I was like meh kind of paid for itself with like the whole 15% off so I think like the percent off I actually got was about like the, the total of that eyeshadow duo right there. Um, I also saw this Makeup Forever eyeshadow palette and I don't know what drew me to it so much. Um, I just recently got the Makeup Forever um, trio, um, like a trio that I made and I liked that this even came with little tiny brushes that I thought um, looked like they would work really well for like getting close under the eye and stuff because I obviously wouldn't use a brush this small for all over my eye but I feel like these are really good at defining and I love absolutely love doing defining things with my makeup so um, I'm gonna keep those in my little box but this is what eyeshadows it comes with and I thought these were absolutely beautiful and these eyeshadows over here were fun and different and um, you know they were exciting eyeshadows like purples and blues which those are like the colors I try to when I step outside of my box it's purples and blues I don't really use pinks or like oranges or greens really as much I usually just use purples and blues and I thought this palette was beautiful and the makeup forever eyeshadows are incredible and I think personally they're really great quality like I mean they are makeup artist eyeshadows like most makeup artists, a lot of them do use Makeup Forever, so um, they're definitely high quality shadows, and um, it wasn't too expensive actually, and you get like, how many shades were in this? I don't know. They're like the size, they're a little bit smaller than like um, the Naked Palette shades, but there's... There's eight shades in here, so I thought it was a pretty good deal, especially for Makeup Forever because their quality is incredible, and I love the packaging on the outside because it like kind of has the tints of the colors that are in the palette, so I don't know, I just thought that was really fun. Then I got this Tarte, and I think this is the Showstopper Clay Palette, yeah it is. The only thing I don't like about it is that it just has this pl like plastic insert that has the names of everything on it and I really like to see the names of my eyeshadows especially because I do so many tutorials like obviously if you're somebody who doesn't do a tutorial it's really not gonna be that big of a deal but for me it kind of was sad but it has this really giant mirror and um, I bl probably blinded you with my lighting um, but I love that it comes with a bronzer, a highlight, a nice blush and then I believe this is six yeah six um, nice neutral eyeshadows and the reason I thought this was absolutely great is because when I go to sleepovers or I go out of town I like to go out of town a lot because I live in such a small town this would be a perfect palette to take with you because I end up taking like so many different things and this just has everything you need in one and I love those palettes Smashbox always comes out with those master class palettes that are just full of stuff and I never buy them because they are so big and I would never use them up but those would be absolutely perfect and I like that this was like a circular palette I don't know I just like the packaging and like it's really shiny on the back too um, but I really just thought this looked like a great palette to buy so I bought it 
I got two more palettes and they are both from Too Faced and I recently really found love for Too Faced um, just everything. Um, I've been really into Too Faced lately. So I first off got the Too Faced Cat Eyes palette and I know this has been out for a long time. I think like a decently long time. I've heard about it before but I never realized that it had like liquid like you could what to dry colors over here that you can use as like eyeliners and stuff but these are the colors that come in it I just thought it was really fun and I loved the purple feel to it and like the nice blue um I typically gravitate towards more neutral palettes so this one had some fun colors in it that I thought would be really cool to just mess around with and to have fun with so I definitely wanted this cat eyes palette and I love the new um, packaging for the Too Faced palettes. They used to be like that cardboard packaging, but now they're just really sleek and, you know, they're really nice. And then the last palette and the last thing I got from Sephora was the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. Now, I recently, I think, okay, first of all, if you have the original Too Faced Natural Eyes Palette, um that is in the cardboard packaging, you're not going to get so many duped shadows if you buy this one. Um, I have the newer version in the new packaging with the new colors in it. So I already had the color Nudie, Cashmere Bunny, and um, Sexpresso, Sexpresso, yeah. Um, but other than that, I didn't have any of the other colors. Oh yeah, I have Heaven too. But I just thought this was so cool. Um, like an all matte palette. I don't own any all matte palettes and I my mom has... I've given my mom both the Naked Basics 1 and Naked Basics 2 and I really didn't, like, it just didn't appeal to me as much, which is crazy because I love, like, the Naked Palette eyeshadows. And I also gave her the um, Tartlet palette that's all matte. But again, I just didn't, I wasn't feeling it as much, but for some reason, this one, I just was feeling. I don't know. I saw Kathleen Lights talk about it, and she did a tutorial with it, and it was really pretty. And then the fact that she called one of the shades like a peanut butter shade just made me want the palette more. So this is what the colors are, obviously. And I really just was pretty excited about it. So that was everything I got from Sephora. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't think I have a super duper makeup buy problem because I really do. Um, I bought so much makeup since January. Okay, this is this is sad. We're gonna talk about this because I need to express my problem to the world. I've, <laughs> I'm only $76 away from VIB Rouge. It's only April. You have to spend $1,000 at Sephora in a calendar year. It's only April. And I'm only $76 away to, from VIB Rouge. Do you guys see my issue here? Like why I have such a problem? Yeah, that's that's not healthy. So I told myself, no more buying makeup. And I said, the only reason I can buy makeup in October is because I get my birthday present. And it's free. So, right? So yeah, that is everything I got in my Sephora haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not already for more videos from me. And I will talk to all of you guys in my next video. Bye everyone!